Hi guys, how you going? Sparring DK here. Now we've got a special video for you today. Uh, FIFA 18 is not too far away. What we've got about six or seven weeks until FIFA 18 hits. And I need to start setting up for the Youth Edition. That will be our first series here on the channel for FIFA 18. We're gonna be using Forest Green Rovers. I've already made that decision. You won't get a vote on that one. But today's video, you guys at home are gonna get a chance to vote for who will be the manager and who will be the scouts for our Youth Edition series on FIFA 18. So uh, I've made a selection. I've pretty much only chosen players from last year's Cheltenham Town uh, series. Uh, I want to continue that, sort of keep the vibe going. So uh, there's no players here from Milan or Chase the Ace or anything like that. These are all Youth Edition players. Uh, there will be a straw poll down below in the description. So click that one and then you can vote for who you want to see as the manager or scouts of this Forest Green side Youth Edition series. Now, this is the way it's going to work. I'm going to give you... Um what have we got here? Seven players from the Cheltenham Town series. Uh, they will all be available for you. You get one vote. Now, whoever gets the most votes on this straw poll will become the manager of the Forest Green Rovers for our Youth Edition series in FIFA 18. And then the next three players will be our scouts for that series. So uh, let's just go through now and have a look at these seven players. All right, first up, we have Jean-Daniel Tomite. He was the big striker, the big unit for Cheltenham. Uh, he was the Drogba regen, but uh, he led this team from the front. Unfortunately, didn't get to play in the Champions League final. Uh, maybe he wants to have a go at management or scouting here for Forest Green. If you want him to be a part of this next series, make sure you vote for him in that straw poll down below. Tomite from 42 yards. Stranger things have happened. He's going to have a red hot crack at this. Whips it up. Oh, what a goal! Our first free kick in the whole fucking FIFA 17 comes from Tamite. Holy shit, Dick. That could be one of the greatest free kicks in this career mode right there. It could be the only one we score. Oh my fucking God. 42 yards out. Tamite laces one into the top left hand corner. Fuck you, MK Dons, he reckons. It dips late. It goes in. What a fucking free kick. John Daniel to meet, eh? Wow. So, oh, mate, that was fucking brilliant. JDT is back, ladies and gentlemen. His third goal for the season. Oh, chop them, you beautiful thing. Next up, we have Alfie Alexander, the Australian left midfielder, and uh, the heart and soul of that left-hand side of the Cheltenham team. Uh, you know, not the most, uh, would you say, ingenious of players, but just the work rate of this lad. He'd always get back, he'd always defend, and, and was just a really strong positional player for the Cheltenham side, and really came through in the clutch when needed. Cheltenham, Alfie Alexander, a blistering strike. Well, that was all off the hard work of Alfie Cooper. What a touch on from the nose. And Alfie Alexander smashes it home. It's 1-0 Cheltenham. Dragowski absolutely caught like a deer in the headlights. And Alfie Alexander smacks one in. It's 1-0 Cheltenham, doing the job that we need. Get in. Next up, we have Chun So Ro, the South Korean central defensive midfielder. And uh, he was an absolute beast in the midfield. Got forward, scored a few goals, and an absolute cracker in the Champions League final to uh, give us the title over Manchester United. So if you want to see him as the manager or one of the scouts for Forest Green Rovers, get voting for him down below. Through the middle to Smalling, no, Pereira. Diallo gets the ball back, finds. Oh, it's Chun So Ro from range. Oh, get in! Chun So Rose knocked one in from downtown. It's 1 0 Cheltenham, 27 minutes gone. Diallo found Luna, a good challenge from the defender. But Chun So Rose has smashed it into the top right corner. See you later, De Gea. You're not getting near that one. Cheltenham Town, 1 0 Champions League final. Get in, son. Yes, come on. I'm fucking excited. Tom Dar is excited. He's already sparked up in celebration and Chun So Ro has done it ladies and gentlemen it's 1-0 Cheltenham Town
Next up, we have Aiden Baker, the Australian goalkeeper. Now, we went through quite a few goalkeepers here at Cheltenham, but once Baker took his you know, position there between the sticks, he really made it his own. And uh, some clutch games, some penalty shootouts, he really did a very big role for us at Cheltenham and, and was probably one of the key uh, figures to get us through to that Champions League final. Here's the shot, Baker with the save. Oh yes, Baker. Next up, we have Simon Luna, the nose. Now, he was a scout uh, in our relegation region rebuild series for Milan, but I felt that, you know, he is just one of those personalities that probably needs another go. Do you think that he deserves to be the manager, or would you like to use his scouting capabilities once again? Get voting in the straw poll down below. It's Luna gets in. 1 0 Cheltenham. The nose fires. Snot and all. And it's into the back of the net. 1 0 Cheltenham. Well, the Villa fed the ball to Jordy Fly. Got bumped off it, but the nose was there and he sniffs out the near post. It's 1 0 Cheltenham. Get in, son. Takes the game on. Strikes. <laughs> get in there. Get in. The nose. Knows the way home. He's everything in his arsenal here that took a massive deflection look at this from the nose just went all right straight off the nutsack of the defender into the top corner fuck you he's got two bang get in two nil Cheltenham the nose has two the next player we have is Zaki Anwar. Now, I think we signed him in season one from Saudi Arabia. An unsung hero, an unsung story for Cheltenham. Just toiled away, eventually grew into a fairly all-rounded midfielder and uh, scored some decent goals, some pinpoint passing, and uh, just the persistence of the man was absolutely genuine. Back to Diallo. It's the run forward, Zaki Anwar strikes. Oh, Zaki Anwar! Holy fuck me! What a finish from the Saudi Arabian Sultan of Swing. And Diallo just seen Zaki just blazing through the midfield. And fuck me, he has absolutely belted that past Butland. It's 1-0 Cheltenham. And the Premier League title, we've got one hand on the trophy. Get in, son. Zaki Anwar, cracking strike. And the final man that we have for voting is Phil Mulholland. Now, he was the captain once Elfie Cooper went down with uh, legs. You haven't seen Elfie Cooper on this list. I've got something uh, planned for him. Uh, but yeah, Phil Mulholland, a big man, a big centre back, six foot six from England, really held up the back line. Probably didn't get as much praise as he should have. He didn't score a goal in his entire career, but uh, was an absolute rock at the back. Did the job day in, day out, and really held our defence together. Yeah, but Big Phil, great work from Big Phil. Oh, great work from Big Phil. Right, so that is the seven players that I have chosen for you guys to vote on. Uh, get down into that straw poll and get voting. Whoever wins the vote will be the manager of our Forest Green series. And uh, the next three will be our scouts. Now, I know this video is out quite early. FIFA 18 is, uh, what, six or seven weeks away. But I want to get the preparations done. I want to be able to hit this one running day one. So uh, I need these setup videos to come out. I may have a couple more leading up to uh, the start of our FIFA 18 career mode with Forest Green Rovers. But uh, just for now, I just need you voting on that one so I can get the work done behind the scenes and we can get ready for an action-packed FIFA 18. Thanks very much for tuning out in this video. Hopefully you vote and uh, have your input on the next series on this channel. We'll see you next time. I'm Spiron DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you, have a good one.